FEMA starting to deliver temporary homes to Hurricane Florence victims. Dozens of campers and mobile homes are arriving at a staging area in Kinston for distribution to 10 counties hit the hardest. CBS 17's Robert Richardson toured the units this afternoon. Several temporary housing units rolled off a FEMA lot in Kinston Thursday. There are more than 100 units there right now, with hundreds more on the way. We have interviewed somewhere around in excess of 700 households that, that may in fact be uh, eligible to receive uh, some type of unit from us. FEMA crews worked with many displaced families to provide short-term lodging in hotels. There was also some rental assistance, but Mike Wade says those resources dry up quickly. People also want privacy, not shared space, which is where these come in. Wade says they provide necessities, beds, some seating, a fridge, a stove. The travel trailer unit is one that we're looking for people that would actually be able to make repairs uh, to their home within a six month time frame. Mobile homes are longer term, around 18 months. FEMA received a lot of criticism for the trailers given to Hurricane Katrina victims. Congressional hearings held in 2008 took the agency to task for some of those trailers and the toxic dangers they posed to those living inside. I wanted to know if these trailers carried the same risks. These are all brand new. They're not recycled. While some of these units came in from out of state, our goal is to now try and purchase these in the counties where the, the damage has occurred. As a way to boost the local economy. The first delivery was Sunday. They've installed eight since then with hundreds more to go. It's a gradual process as they can't just do a drop off. We have to determine that the site is suitable, that the unit will fit there, that they have gas, uh, water and sewer, and then we make the plans to have that unit taken there and installed. Recipients also get a living kit with linens, silverware, a broom and a dustpan. Provide them a hand up to try and get them back to some sort of normalcy in their life. In Kenston, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.